What's going on guys? Filthy Card Breaks here. Today we have a 22 card PSA reveal and then if you'd like to stick around at the end of the video I'll also be showcasing my next submission that will be going out the end of February. Let's go ahead and get this open. I do submit through a third party grader PC sports cards so I'll put a link in the description below so you can check out their website if you may want to use their services. So these were all submitted in bulk uh, last August. So it was about a six month turnaround, which is pretty good. Uh, I've seen certainly seen bulk take nine or 10 months more recently. Um, so six, isn't, six months isn't bad by comparison. Um, this isn't a blind reveal. I did look, so I know how I did, uh, but I will put a count up on the screen to kind of keep track of the cards as we go through them. First off, we've got a 2018 Raphael Devers from Chrome, and this is the 35th anniversary, and that is a 10. Nice looking card there. Next up, we have the Devers Base. I opened a ton of 2018 Series 1. Um, I only have one Devers in this submission, but I do have a few others that are at PSA now, and we got a 10. Next up is a Juan Soto. This is probably the most valuable card in here. This was a US 300. Uh, so this is base rookie card from 2018 update. I bought this card at a card show, yeah, I believe in June of 2020, uh, before they shut everything down where I live, uh, for $30. I submitted it, and we did get the nine on this one, so we didn't get the 10, uh, but still a really nice looking card. Um, I thought it had a shot at a 10, um, but one of the corners does have a little bit of white, the bottom left here. Not sure if that's going to come through, uh, but I wanted to give it a shot, and this is certainly something that I'll keep in mind next time. Uh, th this was part of the very first submission I ever sent to PSA, uh, so this was kind of me getting a gauge of how they grade. This is Top's Choice Jordan Alvarez. Uh, this one also got a 9. I just really like the way this looks. I think it's uh, it's uh, paying homage to the 1956 series. Really enjoy the look of these cards. Um, so this is probably just going to be a PC card for me. Next up, we've got a Pete Alonzo from Chrome. And that one got the 10. That's what we like to see. Some of these cards I will be selling, and, and Pete's going to be one of those. I'm not a big believer of Pete. Plus he's a Met, so I can't root for the guy. Uh, so that's one that, that will definitely be selling. I submitted a ton of Ozzy Albies cards. I love Ozzy, and uh, we did really well on them. This is the only paper I submitted, and this one got a 10. Like I mentioned, I've opened a ton of 2018 Series 1 that has Devers and Ozzy in it, and a few other guys we're gonna see here. Um, so in future PSA submissions, I've submitted submitted a ton ton of his cards, at least the ones that I thought looked nice. We submitted four 2018 Topps Chrome Aussies, uh, and we went four for four, so all four of those are gonna have tens. This card does have like a, like a 90, 94, I think, gem mint rate, so it is really high uh, as far as the gem rate goes, but of course I'm excited to have those. We'll probably add one or two to the PC uh, next to my SGC 10 and then sell the rest and, and probably try to uh, move up and buy a parallel of that. Maybe like see if I can buy a PSA 10 refractor or a colored parallel would be sweet. Um, this was the autograph I got out of Bowman Sapphire. Uh, this is Joe Ryan, he's a pitching prospect for the Rays. And we got the nine. Um, kind of bummed out about this because I really, I was very confident this card was gonna be a 10 when I submitted it. Uh, but unfortunately, just got the nine. And looking at it now, it still looks really sharp. Um, just a great looking card. So maybe there is a surface issue that I just couldn't pick up on, or maybe it's borderline. And uh, the grader th threw me a nine instead of a ten. But the card looks really sharp, um, and it's chrome. Chrome cards typically do better. Next up, we have two of these uh, Luis Robert chrome rookie cards. Uh, but these are the insert, the 35th anniversary, and we did good on these as well. We got uh, two tens, so 
two for two on these. Uh, and next up we have the same insert, but this one is Beau Bichette. And this one did not get the 10. We pulled a nine. Um, so, so I'm not sure again what was wrong with this. Uh, one thing I tried to pay attention to, if you've watched my SGC reveal, you'll see that I didn't do as good on the Chrome cards, but I did really well on paper cards. So in my mind, I thought maybe I was uh, taking taking for granted that Chrome are a little bit more durable and sturdy, and and I wasn't paying as much attention to the surface to check for scratches. Uh, on this on this particular submission, I did do fine on the on the Chrome, uh, but there were a couple nines, the Joe Ryan and that bow that I was not expecting. Um, next up, we do have two base Chrome bows, and we did really well again. Both of these got tens, and then we have two Kyle Lewis. This is the refractor, and we also have a base coming up next. And we got the 10, so nice card. This is definitely one I'm going to be hanging on to as Tops increases the print runs on these sets. Uh, I'm going to try to keep the more rare parallels. Uh, I just think longer term, if you're going to hold the cards, those are the ones that are going to maintain value. And then the base, we got the 10, so very good there. Next up, I have a Luis Robert from Tops Finest. I was a big fan of the Finest design this year. And uh, this is just the base Luis Robert. It did get the 10, but in my opinion, it's a super sharp looking card. Uh, I like that one a lot. Um, next up, this is Jeff McNeil for the Mets. Uh, so when I was submitting this, a lot of people were anticipating that McNeil had a shot at hitting 400 in the shortened season. That obviously didn't happen. Um, and I can't imagine his cards are worth too much, but we did get the 10, which is nice. And then we've got two cards left, and these are both from that same 2018 Series 1 that I've been harping on. Um, and this one is the Walker Bueller, and we got the 10, and then the Jack Flaherty. So the two top pitching prospects from that year, along with my guy Max Freed. Uh, but we did get the 10 on both of these. So in conclusion, I was very happy with how this turned out. Uh, if you take into account the four standard cards that I included in this submission, which I had in an earlier mail day video, uh, I only I went 22 of 26 on tens. Now, granted, some of those were Chrome cards, which have a much higher ten rate, uh, but I was super pumped about that. As you know, that's over um, math. That's that's over 80 percent um, tens, which I'm really happy with. And in particularly in this submission, I had a lot of paper cards. Uh, that I got a 10 with, the Devers and the Aussie, the Jack, the Walker. So uh, that definitely gives me confidence in the cards that I've sent since I've made this submission. Uh, did well. Uh, makes me makes me feel comfortable going forward that the process I'm using to check these cards um, is, is accurate and it's sustainable and it will, will land me good grades. If you stuck around this far, I am going to do a quick rundown of my next submission. I'm filming this February 10th. I'm not sure when it will be posted because these videos do require more editing uh, than a typical rip. So these it may not be coming out till the middle of the month. And then I'm not actually planning on submitting these till the end of February. A few cards may be added between now and then, uh, but this should be the majority of the ones that I'm going to be submitting. These first few are going to be a standard submission. This is a Spencer Torkelson from Sapphire. It is a little off left to right, uh, so hopefully it pulls the 10 uh, because the 9s in these traditionally sell for around the same as the base, maybe a little bit more. Certainly don't think it'll get worse than a 9, but hopefully a 10. We have a couple autographs of Emerson Hancock, who was the sixth overall pick, and then an autograph of Austin Wells from draft who was the Yankees first pick. We got another Juan Soto US 300. I bought a lot of these online, or a lot of Soto I should say. There's only one of this card. And the deal, the person who was selling it was someone I had communicated with before and that I had built up trust. And he told me that in his opinion the card was in very nice shape. Uh, of course I would never ask someone to make a promise or guarantee on what the grade would be. Uh, but he was absolutely right, the card looks great. Um, I know I just revealed a Soto, but I think this one has a great shot at a 10, um, and certainly a 9, as I drop all these cards in the grade. Um, next up we have the Alec Baum 
which if you watch my series one reveal, at first I thought this was just a short print, but it's actually the super short print. Uh, so that's really nice. And th that will be the standard. Uh, this Javi Baez rookie card refractor actually won't get submitted because it is the only card from this time period that I have and it's just not worth it once you factor in shipping to only send one card. So I'm actually not going to send this one. Next up we've got a Randy Base from Update. Uh, Robert Chrome. These will all be going in bulk so I probably won't see these cards till the beginning of the 2022 season. Um, CJ Abram Refractor, that's a nice one. We've got some more of the Sapphire cards, Cro uh, Crochet for the Sox, Casey Schmidt, Jesse Franklin, which is just, this is just strictly a PC card. He's the Braves third round pick. Uh, Lacey for the Royals. Gary Mitchell is the first round pick for the uh, Brewers, rather. Max Meyer, who went third overall. I knew he was one of the first few picks. And Nick York, who, funny enough, because of his pitcher, for a long time, because of his picture, for a long time I thought he was a pitcher, uh, but it turns out he's a shortstop, um, as pointed out by one of my buddies, Mike. So if Mike, you're watching this, um, I did go through the rest of my autos, and uh, I didn't have any hitters hanging out with the pitcher autos. Pete Crow Armstrong, and then I have a ton of Randy Rosarena Chrome from Chrome Update. It looks like five total. I didn't actually open that much Chrome Update, and I didn't open up any on the channel. But every, it seemed like every blaster or hanger I opened had a Randy. And that may be the case because I opened maybe three or four blasters and a couple hangers and cellos. So a lot of Randys that we're going to send in. Hopefully he has a good season. Uh, this Silver Pack Luis Robert. Again, this one is noticeably off left to right. But I would be happy with a 9 for this. Hopefully it pulls the 10. We got the Gavin Lux action variant. Uh, it's kind of funny it's an action when it's really just a portrait of Lux. He's not, you know, doing anything. This card's in good shape, but it does have some noticeable whitening, whitening on the back corner. It's not visible at all on the front. The front looks great. Uh, when I was researching this, it does look like that's a common common issue with this card. I looked at a lot of PSA 9s that had that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and send this in. Hopefully it gets a 10, but I'm kind of expecting it to get the 9. I think Lux will have a nice year. The, the kid hit almost 400 in double A AA and triple A, so if nothing else, he should hit for a high average if the Dodgers give him an everyday opportunity. We've got a Soto from Archives. This one is off just a tad, top to bottom, uh, but everything else about the card looks really sharp, um, so hopefully that gets a 10. Next up, we've got this Legends in the Making insert of Soto that's also a rookie card. Uh, I feel really good that this card will get a 10. It looks sharp all the way around. And I, in particular, really like this insert set. I think I'm going to try to get Soto, Acuna, Otani, and Glaber Torres in this set. And then to round it off, we have a few Sapphire from Chrome Update. We've got the Griffey, the Trout, the Lux, and the Grisham. And one card that I forgot to include in this because I haven't put it in a card saver yet is the Jordan Alvarez. Um, raw from the UK edition, so I still need to clean this up, uh, but as long as I don't see any notable, notable defects, this will also go in the standard submission. It is numbered out of 99. Alright guys, I have talked long enough, so that is going to do it for my PSA reveal, as well as uh, a preview of my next submission. Uh, please, if you enjoy the content, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you think of these cards. Um, if you notice anything that I missed, if you had any questions or any insights, I'm always open for for improvement. I am super, like I said, I'm super happy with how it turned out, uh, but, but I'm always listening and, and uh, I love interacting with the community. Thanks guys, have a wonderful day.